the biggest news in tech right now is not Dell laying off thousands of employees, not Intel losing billions in market share, not Foxconn hiring more people to ramp up the production of the new iPhone 16 series. It is not even Google losing the antitrust case in the US by the DOJ, but it's kind of related to Google. It is about the new smartphones that Google is about to launch in a few hours, the Pixel 9 series. Google is about to launch not just one, not just two, definitely three and perhaps four new smartphones out of which one of them is going to be a first ever launch in India. On August 13, Google will be launching its new Pixel 9 series of smartphones. The smartphones will be powered by the new Tensor G4 chipset, 4 nanometer, known core CPU. Yes, yes, 9 cores, not octa core, not 8 cores, 9 cores. So, what's so special about these phones? Okay, see, I'll tell you what. There'll be many upgrades, the storage, the chipset, the cameras, but the main upgrade, the main set of features that people are looking forward to is going to be the AI suite powered by Google's own Gemini LLM. The AI features in these smartphones will definitely be fascinating to see what they offer, how they perform. But the question is, will they be better than Galaxy AI? Well, for that, we have to wait and watch. I want to speak about the new uh, foldable from Google, which should logically be named the Pixel Fold 2, but as per rumors, as per uh, the news floating on the internet, the phone will be named Pixel Line Pro Fold. Interesting choice for the moniker for the new foldable. I think this choice tells us that Google really wants this phone to be a part of the Pixel Line series and not to be seen as a separate entity. Now, the question that comes to my mind directly is that how high will the phone be priced? We already know that the Apex foldable smartphone in the market right now, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6, is priced at 1,65,000. And as per rumors on the internet, the new foldable from Google will be priced even higher, close to 1,85,000. Will this price tag be worth it? Have they thought this through? The interesting thing to note here is that last year in 2023, Google launched the Pixel 8 series in October, a month after Apple released iPhone 15 series. This year, however, Google is launching its phones one month before Apple. The Google Pixel phones of last year, the Pixel 8 series, set the tone for AI-first smartphones. Mind you, they were the first phones to have AI-centric features. Fast forward a few months and that innovation, that initiation became a norm in the industry when Samsung launched its Galaxy AI suite for the H24 series. In a few hours, Google has a chance to do it all over again with the launch of the Pixel Line series. These phones will once again redefine the way smartphones of this era are supposed to be. Not only this, but Google is also going to introduce its new smartwatch, the Pixel Watch 3. Now, the old Pixel Watches did have many complaints about them, thicker bezels, low battery life, but people are hopeful about this smartwatch. There will be two variants, one will be 42mm and the second one will be a 45mm variant. The rumor mill about these smartphones was so hot and so filled with leaks that Google was compelled, it was forced to disclose how the phones actually looked. And honestly, no harm done. The day Google revealed how the phones actually looked, the hype sort of multiplied exponentially. Just wanted to add one little detail that Google just announced the rollout of its first made in India Pixel 8 smartphones just a day before the Pixel 9 series gets launched. For more such videos on technology, keep following BW TV and BW Business World. I'll see you next time.